Hi, it's Joe Fathery from Effingham High School, and it is Flannel Friday today, and I'm fortunate to have uh, Effingham High School senior Holden Lewis on, and uh, Holden, welcome, and I just want to uh, just say that we're so excited for you. You were just named one of Effingham's up-and-coming uh, leaders under 40, and uh, I want to read just this piece that came from the Chamber of Commerce. It says the 2020 top community leaders under 40 it includes a new up and coming leader award, recognizing the positive impacts that the ne these next generation leaders have on the positive future growth of Effingham County. So congratulations for being named to that award. Um, can you tell me what that felt like whenever you heard about that? Um, uh, it was really, it was just so exciting because it was cool to see how the community recognized me for that award and it was like really humbling too because um it was just you know it was it was surprising because i i just checked my email and i was like oh wow look at that you know yeah that's got to be a good way to wake up to the morning to have something like that and i'm just going to tell you from all of the staff here in the unit, from all the people who've had pleasure to work with you and people like you, it makes our teacher's heart warm and filled with joy uh, to know we have young adults like you out there leading. And I really, one of the things I really wanna key in on is that word you talked about, uh, humility and humbleness. So what does that mean to you that, you know, it humbled you? Um, what does that word mean in the terms of leadership, you think? Well, I think it's just the fact that, um, like whenever I kind of heard about it, you know, it was really humbling because it was like, to me, it doesn't feel like an accomplishment. It just feels like a duty, you know? It just feels like something that, you know, I should have been doing and then I did do. And then, but whenever I was recognized for it, it kind of humbled me in that sort of sense. Well, that that is the best answer. I, I just love how you're talking and I just want to, thank your parents for all of the great job they're doing at home to get you to this spot. And, you know, one of the things I talk about is in positions like this, you're really standing on the shoulders of giants and all the people who have helped you before and that you recognize that. And so I am curious from your perspective, um, you know, a lot of times we look at leadership positions for adults, but I love the fact that you're doing it at your age and it's, it's an example for others to follow. So if you're given a, uh, if this was a commercial for other teens to be stepping out and leading, what would you tell them about overcoming fear and taking advantage of these opportunities? Uh, well, the part about overcoming fear is just, uh, that's just something that I have been working in my heart too, because from a biblical perspective, you know, the way we're called to lead is to, you know, be bold and to be bold and to share, share what we believe. And so to people that, you know, may not be leading or, you know, don't know what that looks like, I just want to encourage you that if you have something or have an idea or you want to, or you're, or you want to do something or God's really telling you to do something, just don't be afraid to step up because the judgment that you're going to receive from others is not going to be, is not, it's not going to be as great as the, the glory that will be revealed in us. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do, exactly. And and I just, uh, you know, during this time of COVID, it's been real easy to just get down on a lot of things. And I understand why it's been, you know, very serious for a lot of people. But I've been, I've been talking about your generation, and I liken it back to uh, my grandfather's generation. They called them the greatest generation from the 30s and 40s. You know, they went through the Depression and World War II. And just they had grit and determination to them and they looked for a brighter tomorrow and they fought through that. And, you know, I've been a beneficiary of that. You've been a beneficiary of that. They built this country. And so um, I look at you guys as the next gen greatest generation. And um, if you were giving a word of advice to people who are maybe struggling right now with depression and anxiety and trying to get through to tomorrow, what would you give them in terms of maybe a recipe of hope for getting through all of the depression that's coming through this? Um, well, I do know that uh, during the lockdown and whatever, that did cause a lot of, you know, depression. People locked in and, you know, couldn't do everything normally and everyone's wondering and anxious about when it's going to get better. But I just want to encourage you that one day it will get better. And um, when you realize that, especially in a, um, 
uh, a Christian perspective of that, you know, eventually one day it will get better. And the fact that, you know, my faith was not trembled through coronavirus and whatever, because my faith stands in God and not on, you know, the things that happen in this earth. And so to people who are, you know, depressed or anxious about anything that's going on, I just want to encourage you to have hope because it's going to, it's going to get better. So uh, last question, um, just really thrilled for you. You got a bright future ahead of you. You're very articulate. You speak very, very well for yourself. And so, uh, and I think you're indicative of a lot of students we have here at Effingham Unit 40. We have a lot of just brilliant, incredible young adults from kindergarten, preschool, all the way up through high school. So uh, what does life look for, like for you down the road as you graduate here and move on to, big, to better or bigger and better things? Although I don't know that's the right way of saying it. I think we have a lot of really good things going on here, but what does the future look like for you? Um, I'm planning on going to Liberty University in Virginia and studying ministry and then minoring in business. And then, you know, I one day hope to, after going through school and everything, to come back here and to work in ministry or to start a business here and, you know, make Effingham County the best that it can be in spiritual and economical reasons. Well, we wish you the best on your journey and would love to invite you back and just excited that you're part of the Unit 40 family. And just once again, congratulations, Holden, on all the great things that you're doing and what a great representative you are of this district and this community. So thank you once again. Thank you.